Welcome to Keep Painting Those Miniatures. Today I'm painting the man himself, Ramos, from the crew box, the M and SU. I started out with the idea of making him worn and almost machined in quality. Greys, browns and metallics were the way to go. When I started building his base, I was mainly looking at his flowing coat. I really wanted something poking out of the ground behind him and in the end I figured pipes would fit nicely. Like other models I've painted in this set, I primed the bases with Vallejo Primer Black. The idea of these bases is to seem really drab. I wanted the miniatures to seem almost a fitting part of the landscape around them. I then used successive dry brushes of Reaper Ashen Brown and then Reaper Golden Brown on the dirt. For the pipes and the base, I started with a coat of Army Painter Gun Metal and then I inked them with Army Painter Ink Soft Tone. Starting on the model, I primed him Vallejo Primer Black. For Ramos, I started by painting his skin Reaper Caucasian Flesh. Uh, wanting a link into the base, I decided to paint his pants Reaper Ashen Brown. Uh, I figured that having it similar would fit nicely. Really wishing I had painted the spider first, I then picked that out with Army Painter Gun Metal. His pants and face felt very flat in the colours I'd chosen, so I ended up accenting them with Army Painter Ink Dark Tone, trying to bring out the details so I could see them a bit better. In contrast to his fairly neat trousers, I wanted the coat to look worn. I ended up dry brushing it with P3 Menoff White Highlight. This also kept in the idea of these guys being grey, you know, I had from the start. The coat needed something else. Uh, I took a look and wanted something to match his spiders. I ended up going with Army Painter Greedy Gold on the buckles on his coat. I also linked them with Army Painter Ink Dark Tone to try and bring them down because they're very bright in contrast. I had a lot of trouble with the face and hands of this model. Every time I got it looking good, I looked at it five minutes later and decided it looked too dark or light or not pink enough. I tried a few things to fix. I tried adding some Reaper Maiden Flesh to brighten it up, but ended up making it very white. I then tried inking it lightly with Army um, Painter Ink Red Tone, which made him look like he was going to die of a heart attack. Oh, interesting effect, but not the goal. To bring down the red, I tried Army um, Painter Ink Dark Tone again, um, but he ended up grey. I then highlighted him back down with some Reaper Caucasian Flesh. Uh, this brought him up to a fairly human level, and it seemed like a good fit. I added some army paint and matte black to his eyes. This made the model get a little bit stronger, and after some cleanup, I decided this was the way to go. The final step was to get him on the base. This normally would have been fairly easy, but he's actually resting on his heels. I glued him in place, then had to push him forward while his feet dried on the ground to secure him in place. I'm actually happy with this model. He's a good fit with the others, and that's one of the things I worried about at the start. It wasn't the most complicated paint job in the world, but, you know, sometimes that's a good thing. Um, he's, he looks the part. Keep painting those miniatures, people.